Drag out whores. No. This before they Even did. on my Facebook like thing, I'll be scrolling through, and sometimes they'll just someone popping their dick out, and I'm like, oh, this got by the filter somehow. Like, I don't know how, but it did. Yeah, and it how do I get how through you, it? I'm not I? mad. I'm going like, uh, no, how I don't do you mad about it? Yeah. How do you guys get through? That there? is crazy. It's like there's yeah, there's so much dick on the internet, but I want to see where you're not allowed to. Yeah, right. It's like, yeah, you, you, right, right. Course, you can like search and find dick anywhere, that but, like, is... where it's not supposed to be. Like, yeah, like a Walmart ad. Like, yeah. That is a very that's, good point. That's amazing. Yeah. I think that says a lot about like you know humans in general. We just want it when we can't have it. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like, I'm like on my TikTok feed, I'm like, guy, you are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it Literally is. I'm like, I don't yeah. want to go to a different place, which is like at three moves of your finger yeah. like yeah also like on tiktok there are some guys who are literally gaining followers by just having like they're doing like gray sweatpants no underwear and their dicks look like i hate to say this about to fall out of their pants they're, and they're literally like, it, i think it's ridiculously huge like it's like insane it's like 10 like 10 feet long dicks it's like it's obviously a dildo oh right? okay is it it's i i'm almost positive it's called gay baiting they're like literally straight guys who like get gray sweatpants, put a humong. I mean, if you look it up, these dicks are human. There's no way. There's these humongous, and they just hold them in the sweatpants. Yeah. And so it looks like they're dick, and it's huge, and they're like, oh yeah, gray sweatpants bulge. But their dicks are not that big. It's called gay they, baiting. They never show it. They never show their. Like, yeah, it's called gay baiting. That's how you get followers. I know, but I, guys are I fall for it because I love straight See? guys who want to show their dicks off. Exactly. <laughs> no, that's the thing. That's like a huge. They're they're. But like, can we gay bait? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just being gay? It, right, it's just being gay. It's just being gay then. Well, yeah. I guess you could gay bait if you were like, if we wanted to like, um, if I wanted to be like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, right, I'm, be totally I'm like gross company. about it. Yeah, yeah I only Wait, fuck like, women. So like, if I do this, this podcast. I think that could be, yeah. That's actually baby. great. But that's great. Is yeah. that, Watch, am I This has more views than baby? any other thing y'all do. Literally leave it there the whole time. Ask, yeah. But then can I get another Red Bull? <laughs> 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 I want a monster. You guys, I want a monster. gay baiting yeah. is hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you guys, yeah, no one talks about how hard it is to gay bait. <laughs> oh, that's it's distracting even. I love it. I'm like, okay. Even though I know it's not your real dick. <laughs> no, like, what, what's wild is... We're close. I'm, I'm not... Like, we're close. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, it's never going to happen, okay. bitch. <laughs> oh, and it's all these fish in here. So we can get out of here. I'm sorry. I guess my bait still smells. That's so <laughs> not your bait. Uh, you know, okay. You I, well, know. I'm not even into tits. I keep on staring at your nips. Oh, that's like going to Hooters. I'll be like staring. They're like, you're gay. Why are you doing this to the waitresses? I'm like, I can't help but objectify them. I, it's horrible. But every I think most people love tits and most people like love a penis. Like, just, yeah. There's just something about it. Like you just want to see it and like are amazed by them. Do Are you, most of your fans gay men? Mm, I would say half. Women. The other The other half are like straight women or mm -hmm. lesbians maybe. Or like um, I don't have – straight guys – Sometimes they're usually paired with either you know a girl or something. There's not a bunch of straight guys that are just like by themselves. Yeah, and, and then they're not well. That's what I was wondering. All. It's like, don't you love a straight guy? It with is a sexual. Is it sexual? Okay, okay. <laughs> what sexual? I you, I wouldn't want you to read me a book. <laughs> But I, I really I, I did that at the library recently. <laughs> I did. I just read a book. People people loved it. So I guess it is hard because I'm going like I it's not sexual. I'm feeling sexual. So right. I'm putting that on you. Yeah, I think a lot of the environments that we like are in are like sexual charged environments. But like I was in the library. I okay. I did read from Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. I, mean, I don't know if you remember that book as a child. So it's about this girl. The entire book is about her waiting, hoping that she gets her period. Like, just mm -hmm. hoping. And it's like, it's just became a movie. And so we did this thing at the public library, the Austin Public Library. They'd have, like, Austin Public Library After Dark. And um, they had this whole thing that we did, and Drag Queens read, and I read from that book. And it was a little sexual, because... How dark was it? <laughs> How it was, like, 9, 9 p.m. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Not midnight. Okay. But yeah, it was like 9 p.m. It was, and they had a bar and stuff. They, it was, it was packed. It was. Yeah, they cute. do have a bar at the top of the Austin Public Library, which is so cute. It's like there's a garden up there. It's a, it's like Harry Potter stairs. It's a badass place. It's like a future library. Have you ever been up there? No. Oh my god. The, it's, it's climbing incredible. the stairs is a little Wait, scary. No one's brought me. Like going up the stairs. No one brought you to the library. No one's brought me to the library. It's well, you, amazing. I used to get my library card because I'm a girl who reads. Do you? Um, yeah. Um, no, I mean, that's cool. Not many people do. I, I, do you? So. Actually, I believe that Austin is a city of people who have not read a book in three years. Okay. I'm gonna... I, I really believe this. And I am I am painfully working through the same book that I started at the beginning of the year. That is fine. That You're off, reading but it, But I do read. What is it? It's I, w The Strange Inheritance of Leah Fern. 
What's so strange about her inheritance? She was born into a carnival, <gasps> and then her mom mysteriously dropped her off at some man's house when she was nine years old, and now... Now she owns a carnival? No, now she never saw her mom again. Now she is um, on a quest because her neighbor died, and who's actually her mom's best friend that she had no idea about, and now she has to drive all around the country, and she hasn't even left her small town in 15 years. Which and mag- there's magic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. yeah. So I'm in. Well, so I figured in. I figured that that and I'm was big into what witch. she inherited. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Witches are cool. Yeah. Okay, I will tell you all this. I had a friend one time, and I was questioning my friendship with him, and we had a conversation where he divulged to me that he had never read a book in his life. He had never. He'd read Cliff Notes maybe, but he never fully read a single book. And I'm no longer friends with that person <laughs> <laughs> because of that. Literally, Good. yes, yes, because of that. You've never read a book. Yeah. Like I was just, I was just blown away. Like. What, that says a lot about you as a person. And I was just like, I can't, I cannot believe you've never read a book. Like, right. It just blew That's, me away. It blew that me is away. crazy it's, to never. It's actually sad. It's. It, I thought it was sad too. Like, it, but he had no. And he could read. He absolutely, he absolutely could read. Did you know twelve percent of Americans that are eligible to read, so like adults, right, 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 can't read. Twelve percent. Twelve percent. That's so. That's, also, I also read this. The country that identifies with the most homos in it. Do you guys want to take a guess? Um, most homos that I – most country with the place that, that has the most people that identify as homosexual. Which country is I that? I feel like it, to say America is a trick. It's not that. It's not that. The UK? No, it's no. Gonna, Puerto Rico. Oh, that's a good guess. That is a good it's guess. Good guess. Well, I don't want to say what country it actually is, no, because it's, it's going to sound racist, but it's Mexico. Oh, oh yeah. They have, they have, I want to go to Mexico City. 12%. 12% of Mexico is homosexual? It identifies as gay. And wow. 12% in America can't read. Bam. <laughs> there we go. That's, that's exactly what I drew. That's exactly yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I also, crazy. I will say I work at a restaurant, and sometimes people, people will be looking at the menu, and they go, what do you have? And my instinct is just to go, like, read the fucking menu. <laughs> but then, but then my first thought is, like, what if they're illiterate? And then I feel so sad thinking about this person who's illiterate that I'm like, we have hash and eggs. Do you like hash yeah, and right, eggs? Right. Like, just yeah. describe it to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, are you blind or illiterate? Or? Do you want some cheery? It does. I can, yeah, I can go to the store. Cheerios. Yeah, it's like that scene in League of Their Own. Do y'all remember League of Their Own, where she mm-hmm. can't? She's like, they're looking at the roster of who made the the baseball team, the girls' baseball team. And the girls like, and the girl comes up to her. She's like, "Can you not read, honey?" And she's like, Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "You're on the lift," and she gets all excited, but she can't even read her own name on the roster. Oh. and that was, I mean, yeah, that was. A, yeah, uh, and Corky Romano, he's trying to order some ice cream. He goes, pistachio. And it's just like vanilla. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> like, and he goes, fine, run raisin. Like, I think that people can just get by. I think, in my mind, I'm like, how could you possibly even survive without reading? But right. I think that you find a way to sort of navigate through and just. Anecdotally, have I have, I because I bring it up all the time because it's such a, like, a mind-blowing thing for me. I have heard that like it's the smartest people in the world because they have to figure out a way around life without reading. I'm going to go ahead and say that the smartest people in the world probably <laughs> thought I should learn to read. <laughs> that, that would be I a pretty smart I thought, yeah. I mean, like, I'll say that they're they not, might be I'm like, not say they're dumb. But street like, smart. Yeah. Like, they could be street smart. But it, he, doesn't, he doesn't. I'm nothing. actually emotionally <laughs> intelligent. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not really – um, and that's his else. thing. You know, I never think of people being emotionally intelligent. I think of people being emotionally unintelligent, but I yeah. never think of them being emotionally intelligent. So that's interesting. That oh, well, actually, that I think he's emotionally intelligent enough and for the both of us. So you don't yeah. even have to. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. See, and so that's Colton the thing. Starts talking, I go, sh- you're sh- like, sh- you're sh- like, sh- um, what is it? You're like aiding him along. Like you're assisting him. You're the problem. For sure. Yeah. You know the yeah. movie with the small kid and he was crippled and then the large guy and he used to ride on his back. What? Yeah. Well, he's basically my giant. That's cute. Yeah, that and I'm feels the, like I'm I would be hurt if I saw a picture. Yeah, I, but like, yeah, I feel like I feel like too. You know I mean? Yeah, like with my body insecurity. So I, I, but I am appreciative of you bringing that my, the, our size difference up. That I, I, that does I don't really see much of a difference. Oh, oh no, <laughs> you took like our shirts off. Huge difference. Emotionally, I'm skin fat. That's uh, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you? He's skin ripped. R- I recently ripped. got pretty ripped. You're ripped. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want to see a picture? No. I think I've seen it on Grinder. Yeah, it's all glamour. Have. It's all see that's like glamour muscles. I'm not sure he could do a pull up, but I know that it looks. Okay, incredible. also, okay, I was I thinking that. about this that your measure of athletic is so tied to the pull up because one time he went into I hard. think like Crunch Fitness or oh. something. Oh no, and- we're talking about my current gym. <laughs> oh, okay, and he was like, so like, and he's like, so what are your goals? And he's like, I'd like to do a push, a pull up. And the guy looks at him and goes, You'll never be able to do a pull up. <laughs> he goes, You're too, you're too bottom heavy. 
I was like, I don't even have an app. Right, but two bottom, two bottom heavy. I don't I have three like, loads in there right now. These fucking calves, you know what I mean? Like, I can what? do it. What does that Good even mean? You'll calves. never. So, have you done it? No, but oh, I um, he I, was right. I hate to bring it up on the podcast again, but I used to be over four hundred pounds. So actually, I, when I watched, I, I did see that you'd mentioned that, and I literally oh, I, every that, that's, that's incredible. It's no, incredible you know, journey. Your journey, eh. his journey. Thank is, you so yeah, much. Good. I mean, no, but get, I am still hard. alive. You, that's, that's pretty. pretty you know what? That's we, pretty that is our crazy. journey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, are you? Are you? What's your deal? Um, actually, so okay, I, I am also like pretty physically fit. I just also half the reason why because I'm like you know running around in heels all the time and like yeah. you know sweating. So, but also lately I've been going to the gym, and oh, so because I really. My my thing with drag is, and I I love doing drag. I love it. It's my job. Um, I love it that I'm, you know, it's something I'm good at, and like I can get make money. But there comes a duality of it where like I sort of lose the sense of my other self, like who I am as a boy, um, because I'm not a trans person, which I get, you know, roped into with a lot. Which I have to explain like that's not my journey. Like I don't I get I get to take all this off. Like all of this comes off, performer. and I can be I can be a total like exactly. I'm just right. like an actor or performer. Um, but a lot of people don't see it that way for some reason. Like it's it's like. If you if friend was a plumber, and you only like when he's not at work, you're still like, hey, you're a plumber. Like, the, I get boxed in in my job a lot. Like, people see me as a boy, but don't see me as a boy. You know, it's like straight guys. It's like he's not gay. He's just horny. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> they people just can't wrap their heads around that. Like, oh, I'm also a boy. Like, and right. so and so thus it's kind of pushed me to be like extreme opposite. Like, so I'm like working out more. I'm trying to like. I'm afraid I'm not gonna be able to fit my outfit soon, but I I can't like not do that because I want to be. I want. That other it is of interesting itself. because some people will not identify with their shitty accounting job, right? Like they're not an accountant all the time, right? In fact, not... They wish they weren't an accountant, totally, but totally. They can't be like, well, that person is that. And you're like, yeah, it's I it's guess. it's just really it's really strange. I don't know why. I, it comes down to I think there's like weird dynamics like in between like sexually dynamic. So if like you see me and know that I do drag, you must think that I'm like sort of feminine a little bit. So whenever I'm not in drag and still I'm and I'm trying to fuck you or whatever because I'm a top generally, right. people don't like that sort of like I, that I can be both. Yeah, like a feminine person and also fuck you and be like masculine. Yeah, people yeah, yeah. people don't understand that that can happen. This also could be like such an offensive thing I'm about to say. Oh please, but don't. <laughs> and but it can be, and it it's also kind of like. It's kind of like, it is, um, <laughs> it is. It, but like, like trans, pe- I feel like trans people who start doing drag is kind of like gay people who claim to be bisexual at first. It, you know what no, I mean? Zora like, is, you're sure. Ruining, you know, the actual bisexual people, you know what I mean? It's like, and then they're like, they're called fake, you know? Absolutely. And, and like, yeah, I think they just, they get sort of like <laughs> a, a head bad start. analogy. I know, I think I know what you're saying. Yeah, for it's, sure. It's a safe pad for some people. Yes, it's a safe, yes. And yes, so then other people draw the like. And everyone's allowed to do whatever they want. Yes, totally. Everyone is allowed to do whatever they want. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I'm just trying to, like, it's because I've been doing drag for, like, now, like, almost 15 years. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Crazy, right? Seven, no, like, eight years has been my only job. Whoa. Um, yeah, which is amazing. That's amazing. It's incredible. Austin is such a great community of people, and there's, like, I think there's, like, 30 of us that it's our only job. Like, 30 drag That's incredible. Also. That's awesome. Awesome, yeah. And like, I don't like, think Austin has 30 comedians. I mean, he probably does. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, it's amazing. Austin's not that big of a city that can support like that much like no. arts. It's really, How really cool. How many drag queens do you think are in the city? Total? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, 500? No, I think 200. Yeah. 200, yeah. And the other 170 are desperate to make it their job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. They're lucky to get booked. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that also means there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of new people. There's also people who do drag for one day and then stop. And then a lot of people, you know, from my like generation when I started, there's only... Like myself and like Lady Grackle, I think is like from our like group of people that just started. So a lot of people come and go for sure. It's one of those things. I'm sure comedy is the same way. Yeah, like, yeah. People just stop doing it all of a sudden, but it's hard. It, it's hard. It's and hard. Most it's hard to keep winners. Yeah, most people are winners. It's hard to keep going. Like you know, the longevity of it is hard to stay fresh because then there's new people coming up and they you know connect better than you do. You know, it's just you gotta. It's I always though. compare it to like getting in line at Dunkin' Donuts because like. It's going to – it looks so long. It's piling out into the street. <laughs> but I promise you, some of those people are going to drive away. Totally. So, absolutely. You yeah, are going to get there faster than you think. You think a half hour, 18 minutes tops. Yeah. yeah. Like, totally. If you just stick in it, you'll get the coffee. That, that is like being flexible and just keep going is the way that I tell people to have longevity in this career. It's like just don't stop doing it. Just right. keep going. Just next you can day, never I, die a failure if you never stop trying. Hello. Right. I also think that there's so many people that want the thing instead of the – like totally. I was explaining to somebody. I was like if you get your dream job, 
You, what you got was work. Like you yeah. will oh then God. start working. So if you get your dream job, hopefully you like the work. So to get your dream job, just don't wait to start working. Just, yeah, just, just work, work yeah. now. Yeah. That is so. That is. I've never heard someone say that. I haven't either. Yeah. And if you get your dream job, if you get your dream job, you just got work. Oh, it's still in there. <laughs> Uh, guys, pull it out. I just oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I just yeah, want to say out, something. Oh. Sorry for gay baiting you yeah. the whole time. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Red Bull gives you gay baiting. <laughs> Yum. Wow. Mm. Gives you wings. Have yeah. you ever eaten a pussy? Oh my god! I'm about to say red wings, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Red wings. It's when they're on their period and you have and blood you eat, on your face. You eat them out. One okay. I, one time I read a book actually, and I've never forgotten this. And they, he was describing. It actually turned me on. He was describing how he was eating this girl out, and it was called. It was actually Endless Love, really toxic book. But at one point, he's eating her out during her period, and he gets a blood chunk, like a blood clot from her period. I don't even know how that's real. It in, is. It, yeah, in, in his mouth, and he fishes it out. And oh I, and my I, god! I read that when I was 19. I can't hear the word blood clot. Without thinking of Jamaican gangsters, <laughs> I don't know why that is. I don't know blood clotty boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bomba, blood clot. Um, you know, whenever you eat a girl out on her, um, so you, how you get your your red wings is a period, right? If you want your bread wings, you eat her out on her yeast infection. Okay, well, that at that point you need to go to the hospital. <laughs> okay, or bread like, wings. See, uh, yeah, that's crazy. Bread yeah, wings. You get your bread wings. Okay, well, that first, I don't. Wh- I well, then I have that too. <laughs> What was it like? It was the first time I ever uh, ate a box, and she was eighth grade, and I remember being like, this is like, but I didn't know any better, so I was like, and she had just sucked my dick for 30 minutes during Sky High. In eighth grade? Yeah. I was watching Sky High. I love that movie. I love that movie. And I remember being like, like, I remember like character development, like more, like I was like, she's still sucking my dick, so like I felt compelled to do it. Right, right. She she put in the effort. You're just gonna be nice, right? And I so I went down there. Being like you're actually just not very good at this. You know, oh, I, well, yeah. I yeah. I don't know. I mean, I well that whatever. And so I went down there and I went one second. And I went. And I threw up. No, and you she, did not. You yes, did. I th- I threw up, and I came back and I was like, let's just like um do me again. <laughs> Did she, did she? Well, I did. I wasn't gonna be like something's wrong right, with your something's hole male down there. Yeah, <laughs> something's yeah. something's very wrong with you because I didn't know any better. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. pussy stank. Yeah, yeah, generally, yeah. So I just mean. thought pussy stank. Wow. I mean, I don't. Whew. That's amazing that you did that, and then you were the dick that was like, do me more. Yeah, yeah, but like, what should I have said? I mean, I. What do you say? When what do you say? When you're 13, getting your dick sucked, I wasn't no, really no. doing that. Oh, when I you're was. 13, come back. She has a yeast infection. Are you, you don't know sure any that she had a yeast infection? How do you know that? I mean, I don't know the science. Because are. I have eaten more after that, oh, and, they, they, and it was like it was a fine. very fine. fine. I feel like, so bad. For sometimes her. Like, I don't feel bad for her too, but she probably didn't know. She didn't know, and she probably had a bad life. She had this a yeast infection. She like, didn't know, and then you threw up. They it must be incredibly difficult to keep up with it. Like it is like a whole like imagine like yeah, a foreskin. Imagine a foreskin that, that's, that's what very they large. Cut it off. Yeah, and like literally okay, like it's not that. Bad. It's like a huge open and it's just open and like always like <laughs> lubricated moisture going through there and like the pH levels. I mean, if I had a pussy, it would be so fucking wrecked. It yeah. would be a mess down there. It would be. be I'd I, fill it, things. I'd fill it. I'd fill it. It'd be with what I mean, peanut butter, <laughs> everything, anything, and Why also not? just like. You know, it gets dirty and like, oh my, I couldn't, I could not handle something that was like an open sort of like orifice all the time, like just ready to like, it gets so messed up. Mm-hmm. I also just want to quickly just that's, say. And that's why I think women are heroes. No, women, yes. no, doing drag makes me realize. Reason, like, I go, yeah. Yeah, no. They, you're a hero. Women have to go through so much. Their lives, I mean, are significantly harder than men's. And I'd, anyone can say that I'm different, but like I, as a woman, as a woman, not even a real woman, as like a fake woman, the way that I get treated in the world versus as a boy is insanely yeah. different. Like, oh my gosh, I actually need help. I can't even zip this outfit up by myself. It, I, most women's clothes that you cannot put on by yourself, which is like fucked up. You have to have someone there with you, like to help you in your clothes. No guy's clothes you need help to put on. Like, it, we, it, should in, we should invent um, something. I'm sure there is probably something, but like, like it's a just coat hanger. Have you ever done that? Trick? A coat hanger? Oh yeah, totally. But it's like, God damn, you know, it's insane. Yeah. But then it's like, it's just. Tits are heavy and, and sweat. It's so sweaty oh, and like yeah. so everything is just so. It, being a woman is so hard. I'm so lucky I get to take all this off. It makes me feel like I'm so lucky because damn, the world is hard for women all the time. I get to take it off and not be a woman most of the time. Thank God. Yeah. Ooh, 
Yeah, well, they don't if you think that you could feel your boobs, do you think you'd like them more? No. No. I mean, I'd really like like my like chest like I played with already, but like yeah. So if it was bigger, it'd be cooler maybe. But like, I really think they're they're sweaty and they're heavy. Like yeah. the amount of like boob sweat is like a real thing. It's a real thing. I'm well aware. <laughs> yeah, right. Let, as this <laughs> form of oh wait, why uh, are we talking hypothetically, Dylan? Let's I ask. Want, <laughs> uh, as you all know, I'm half trans. Uh, what half? Yeah, well, just, just the half. chest. Just the chest. Uh, gynomastia mixed with overweightness gotcha. gives you a real tits. Um, but yeah, no, they're awful. I have awful posture because of it. You see, it's like up, the back, the, you know? the weight of them. It's so, it's so heavy. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, it's not even the weight. It's more. It's like, I don't want you to see it. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm like, oh, oh my t-shirt. Like to hide. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm actually better about it now. But yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, then uh, that's a life lesson for everybody. And you know, and if you have a mom, ask her about her boob sweat. Yeah. See, I mean, or just look it for it. It's probably there. <laughs> yeah. 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 How My mom's always had very small boobs. Oh. Yeah. She was a bodybuilder. Oh, cool. Yeah. So she always had no boobs. And Every she week, your mom has a new job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, guess, yeah. yeah, we're very interesting people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah very true. <laughs> we just we run a lot from our lives. In commitments, yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. And when you're fucking six years old, you better have had a couple things to say. That, yeah, say that. you know, if yeah. you had one job your whole life, boring. You always <laughs> hear those people. They're like, hey, they worked at this company for forty years. I'm like, that sounds like that sounds I'm like sad. they got sold a fucking sad ass dream, and like, yeah. and like are good people, so they didn't stop, but like they got fucked. I'm sure. I'm sure they got fucked. Yeah. Like that's not that's not a good thing to like no. be, be in a rut. Mm. No, a forty year rut. Yeah, like fuck that. I mean, I think that whole idea of that stylized family, like work forever, this one job, and have these two kids and go to college. Well, I think that's gone. I mean, if, it's gone. If you could have a I don't know. We'll just call it a, a sugar daddy or some access to like Unlimited enough funds. enough money to start your own business within reason. What would you do with like a hundred thousand dollars right now? Um, that isn't cupcake involved, or is cupcake involved? You can do whatever you want. Um, it's your money. Right, right, right. And I, I want it now. And I want it now. <laughs> um, I really don't know. I don't know. I think that businesses um take like passion behind it. So if I don't. I. I've thought about that because I like, there's so much like side hustle, like jobs and stuff like that. It's like, oh, can I just do this to like make some money? It's like I'm pretty sure that if you have your own business, you better be very passionate about it because it's like it's gonna like take a lot of work, yeah. more and more work than you ever think. So it would have to probably be something drag related, and okay. I I don't know. I mean, I I already have like merch that I want to do, but I don't know if it would just be adding more merch to that and actually producing it. Mm-hmm. But like, um, like I want to do like a. You remember? Do you remember Leslie? The Jones, Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones. Oh no, not Leslie Jones. <laughs> Leslie, the um, the trans guy who used to live in Austin and ride bike around on like and just wear a thong, and he like ran for yes. mayor and he got like bashed and like died. It was horrible. But do you know who I'm talking about? No, is he so, actually dead or just died no, in public? No, he's actually dead. Oh, um, but this this <laughs> he's was just not. She wasn't saying he's dead. And he's us. dead, girl. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> just Stop dead. talking about um, him. He's gonna I, run for mayor. I, he got bashed and killed. <laughs> well, so he got. So what happened? There's guy Leslie who was like a um. He was a trans guy and like a, one of the people that made Austin like weird. He would bike around all around the city in like a lime green thong and like a little tube top and like but would look like a homeless man. <laughs> yeah. And it was just a, a sight to be seen. And he was like he ran for mayor one time. He almost like he didn't almost win, but he did okay. Um he got gifted like a house and but he still chose to live on the street. And then one time he got like gay bashed pretty hard, I think, and they found him in a ditch. And he didn't die right then, but he was like mentally like handicapped after that. Oh. Um but there was like a lot of he so there were these fridge magnets that people made one time. There was like Leslie and like all these different outfits that you could put on Leslie and like they sold them and he, it was like a benefit for him. I think I would make a cupcake one of those. Like uh-huh. I wanna make a cupcake with all these different yeah. like, and one of the like my nut sack hanging out or you know, yeah. like an egg pumping out and stuff like that. I think mm-hmm. that'd be a really cute like merch thing that nobody's really done. Um I also got a three D printer. Oh. So all my jewelry now is 3D printed. Like, this is 3D printed. These are 3D printed. Like, I don't buy jewelry anymore um, because I want to 3D print it. So I think 3D printing for, like, drag queen stuff would be a definite, like... That's so smart. And it wasn't that big of an investment. And it's just, like, now all my stuff is custom. Why am I thinking like, three grand? Two, one. Whoa. One grand. One grand, yeah. One and grand. One grand. Steep, steep learning curve? Not a steep learning curve at all. Any Anything that you can think of, literally anything. I'll tell you, I got so specific. Do you know that we returned to Oz? Maybe, maybe not. There's a movie Return to Oz. There's a key that one of the people have in that. I was I looked up the file. 
key to return. Someone's already made that 3D print file. That's how specific, that's how long shit's been around that anything you could possibly think of, someone's already made the, 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 3D image for and you Jism. Just... Did you have to do that? So I, I, I typed in Jism, but the nameplate was like a template and okay. I could pick the font and everything, but it built it all by itself. And so now do you, like is the material like that plastic or whatever, is that so is this that is like expensive? The... No. Okay, listen to this. It's filament is what it's called. It's um about twenty dollars for a kilo. A kilo. A kilo which is a lot. It's a very big spool. It is a lot of filament for How twenty much, bucks. Um you can make jewelry, you can make anything. You can literally make any I mean anything. All it costs is time, really. You know, because he's like, it takes a while. Sometimes, I How mean, how long did that jism take? An hour. What? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I need hey, a can 3D you can printer. you go? Can you go like make ten? Yeah, because my build space well, is about like move it across. It's crazy watching it do it. Yeah, it's like it literally builds it layer by layer and yeah. just like it like squirt. It's like a little squirt nozzle. It just squirts out and builds it. Huh. It's insane. And like really, the learning curve. Maybe I got a really good easy printer, but like I've had maybe like. One or two things fail, like it really not many at all. Like they all, it generally works out pretty well. Like, have you made a dildo yet? I've not made a dildo just because if you feel this material, it's a little like unflexible. They do have more flexible material. It's a little bit harder to work with. They have hard, but like, I have made um, the first thing I made. It was just crazy. I got it and I was like, oh shit, I need like a funnel for something. I was like, oh my god, beep 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 funnel. What? Like, oh my, do you think anything? Oh, it's like the fucking Jetsons, dude. You can it's, make this like a spatula. You can totally, make spatula. you can make anything. Oh my god, you don't even have to go to Target. No, don't need a cup. This, a fork, a spoon. I need a you cup. You made a cup? Yes, I made cups. Mini cups. Yeah. What you don't, color you want? It, literally, what color? And there's all the different color filaments. This is like a lime green. This was like a um. This is a gradient one. That's like a rainbow sort of. Um. Yeah, it's crazy, dude. It's it's wow. definitely like the future. Especially for drag. For, for drag, like, it makes so much sense, you can right? Constantly be making new ear everything. everything. Everything's new. Yeah. And you and drag is so expensive. You always hear them talk about that. It's so a constant cool. expense. Like the things that you have to like recurrently like nails. Fucking jewelry. Like, oh my God, do you, you print nails? To do nails? I okay. I'm, I'm working on printing nails. I think yes, it can definitely be done. I just have to get the right nail sizes, and I don't know like how like with the curve, it might be interesting. But I'm, I'm working on it. I'm definitely working because that'd be badass. Yeah, that yeah. would also be like your thing if you right. were on TV. They'd totally. be like everything. Everything's gonna be printed. printed. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just imagining some like nails oh, like this, like, and you're just like. Just yeah, um, the, where'd you get them? Me. Me made them, 3D printed them. Yeah, oh my it's, god. It's really, it's it's definitely like the future, and I'm like trying to, my goal right now is I'm printing things out in like every color that I have, and so, so I can show people, you look, what do you want? Because I mean, I already have drag queens that are like, girl, print me this, print me this, print me this. Right, right, and, and you said yes. I said yes, You said course. yes, I'm a community builder. Uh, absolutely, I'm a community builder, and a, and give me your money. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, so they, yeah, they, they yeah. pay. Oh, it takes I, time. I, it takes time, and like, yeah, I would definitely like charge for it. I don't know how much I would charge. Hey, that's but your like, business. That's a business. That's yeah, the business yeah. right there. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You're that's the three D printer, the drag queen three so D printer. Had, if it's I had a hundred thousand dollars, I'd buy a hundred more three like D printers. That yeah. is like would be such a funny character in like a modern day TV show. Instead of like going to the back of like the theater where like the costume department person's like, "What do you want from the old shows?" It's like you bring it to the drag queen. She's like, "I'll print you anything you need." Yeah. 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 Literally. I mean, you can print guns. We. You can print let's guns. Let's get a gun. Let's get, let's get a 3D Can you print me gun. Uh, an orange, a purple, uh, no, sorry. I was getting we want green guns. and orange. Pur- do, you, do you get them mixed up in your head? The words, not the colors. Like, I know what I'm talking about, but literally every single time I try to say green, it comes out orange. That is so interesting. Whoa. I, I, I don't know why. His wires are crossed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something no, happened. it's been like that since I was a, something, yeah, wait, something <laughs> definitely <laughs> happened. Something definitely yeah. happened. Yeah. Something definitely yeah. happened. Yeah. happened. Yeah. I can see that, like, maybe my uncle, like, maybe taught me as a kid like this is green this is green. that's fucked up just I, like fuck with you yeah so and like funny. that could have happened that's, i have a friend who his dad always called his underwear his panties and he like so the guy had no idea that that was not the word for it so he was like with his friends one time that they were changing he was like hey can you grab my panties and the guy's like what are you talking about like what he's like my panties can you grab he was like mortified that his dad had taught him that and i think his dad did it just to fuck with him yeah 100%. that's something just, my dad would do that's, that's so that's fucked amazing. up right that's hilarious i died i was like pant oh my that's god like reason, that's like a reason to have kids exactly like, you, you, got, you gotta find joy in it kids. somehow you gotta find the joy yeah, yeah. my next door neighbors <laughs> up until i think now call their father daddy Okay, that's so that, strange. I noticed that being able to do that too. That's so weird. Not okay. Not okay. Like, not okay. And what kind of man like wants to be called daddy all the time? That's strange, right? It is weird. I didn't think I called my dad daddy when I was a kid. I think he was like, it's Brian. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have videos of me like calling my stepdad by his first name. And then I was just dad after that. Like, I would never, daddy. Daddy, no. That's Ooh, gross. Even what as a you kid, just... I was like, he's not my dad. He's not my daddy. <laughs> yeah, I already got a daddy. Ben, ben Affleck is. Mm, um, yeah. Ben Affleck is I your love daddy. Ben Affleck. Yeah, did as a kid you liked him too? Yeah, oh, I was obsessed. See, with I think kid. he ruined uh, Batman. 
Oh, so that wasn't when we were kids. When we were kids, we were at the height of Jennifer Lopez fame. And I, in third mm. grade, had a J-Lo fan club. Mm. And it only had three members, I think, as I've said in this podcast. Uh, Lexi and Kyleen. <laughs> I'm not going to go into where Lexi is in right now, but Kyleen is dead. And so, <laughs> yeah, only only member <laughs> left. Two members. <laughs> <laughs> so the only member so left. The only member left. And, yeah. Wow. And what? I actually stuck around so long that they're back together. Uh, right? They're full married. circle. I was a Mark Wahlberg fan as a child. Like I loved Mark. Like I mean, we're gay like he was he was the background of my computer when I was a kid. Yeah, <laughs> just like. Strange. But have you seen him recently? No, I don't choose not to. Yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, good idea. Yeah, yeah. Those Calvin He's on pictures. On... They still can get me chubbed up. Totally chubbed totally. up. Totally chubbed up. If I needed to, I can I can come to it. Honey, br- honey, bring up. If I need, 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 on a desert island. Yeah, give me that Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, come on. I, I can only come if I think about how he ki- he beat that man to death, though. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. That's what really gets me. I'm just. Oh. I'm like, I remember he fucking he killed. Beat who? I think he beat a man to death when he was when he was Marky Mark. Oh no, or maybe like. I think that there was a scuffle. I mean, he might have beat him to death. I don't know. I'm spreading false. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You made a whole false narrative in your head. You're jacking off too. News, okay? yeah. I don't really know what happened. Maybe you just made it up in your head. Can you Google this? Maybe he's not dead because I think he made a public apology to him a couple years oh. ago. Well, he's also super religious. So he, what he's doing on Instagram now is like he'll be like praying. No. And then he'll be like, what is it about? Hey, sp- hey. Just I don't know if you noticed. I'm wearing a new Mark Wahlberg shirt. Hey, stay prayed up. Stay prayed Stay up. Stay prayed up. Yeah. What no. is up with ripped straight men who will become famous? Mark Wahlberg murdered somebody. Become religious. Like, are we talking about like Chris Pratt and stuff? We are too? talking about. You know what? We are talking about. We are talking about Chris Pratt. I hear you. We are talking about Chris Pratt. I left Chris Pratt and I've left, I left being a fan of him or seeing anything he ever did when him and Anna Ferris, Anna Ferris broke up and I was just like, um, I'm just done with you. I think I was there for Anna and now I'm not there for you. Mm. Attempted? Johnny Trin. <laughs> I, when I was coming, I wasn't thinking about the racial slurs. <laughs> uh-huh. oh, oh, for attempted murder? Yeah. That's a forty-five days. It's pretty um, forty-five days. Thing, yeah, I spent sixty days in jail. Why? Really? Yeah, sixty. Sixty days for, in Texas. In Texas. Stop. In, Why? In Del Valley. Um, so I got two DWIs um, within like of like a month of each other yeah. when I was like twenty-six, and I was in drag both times. I went to jail both times for like a day. It was horrible. That must like, be rough. It was interesting for sure. The, t- the nurse gave me one wet wipe and was like, good luck. And I'm like, <laughs> my mugshots are horrible. It was, yeah, it was a, two days of nightmares. But I didn't blow. I didn't do, I didn't fail the test. They just took me to fucking jail. Right? So they had no like evidence of me actually being drunk. And I was like, I do not want two DWIs on my fucking record. Like, right. I'm going to fight this. So I got a great lawyer. She, Stephanie, Stephanie Collins. She's amazing. We fought this thing for like two years, like we years, and it was like being drug out, being drug out, because they had no evidence, and it was like they kept presenting everything. Finally, I have a court date. Stephanie Collins cannot be there with me that day, but it's supposed to be fine. Stop, girl. I walk into that courtroom, and the judge is like, "We're gonna finish this right now." And I was like, "What do you mean?" She's like, "Right now, jail, sixty days mandatory. No, it's usually two for one. You usually get two days for one day." She's like, "No, two for one, right now." And I was like, "I have to go. I have a gig after this. Like, what do you?" And she's like, "Don't care. You're going to jail right now." And I was like. Oh my god! Like holy shit! Here I go. So I went to jail. It was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Jail is just, what jail is is incredibly boring and incredibly sad because there are people who did less than I did that, yeah. that are never going to get out of that jail ever, and it's fucked up and it's just boring because like there's nothing literally it's not scary. It's, when I went there, I was like, okay, listen, I'm gay. I want my own cell. Like I cannot be in general population. I cannot do this. And the nurse goes, look. I can do that to you. That's fine. But that will change you in a way that you will not ever even be able to imagine. Yeah. She was like, just try general population. I'm so glad I did. It was totally fine. I was be, Me being gay was nothing. They didn't give a fuck. What, people you don't like up. people in jail that are annoying. That make it seem like their lives are so much harder. Because guess what? Everyone's in jail. It all sucks for everybody. Yeah. Like, don't, yeah. don't be that bitch. Don't, that's be like whine, don't be crying and whining. Just like deal with it. Those the people that are crying, those are people you get fucked with. Me? Also, I was blonde to the Aryan Brotherhood where like, come sit with me. And I'm like... Okay. <laughs> I had nowhere else to go, so sure, I'll come, sit with you. I'll come sit with y'all. Cool. And they, they didn't care that I was gay, but and so I just sat Really, the Aryan Brotherhood doesn't care that you're gay? No. Did they? Well, at, did they? <laughs> <laughs> at that point, they just need numbers. They're they like, literally, they're yeah. Like, He's blonde. I was too. blonde. It worked, yeah. Um, did you have sex in jail? Wow. Is that... Okay. I did. 
And you don't I, have to answer anything. No, 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 of course not. I, but I will answer this. Um, okay. I did not have sex in jail, but I did check off with this boy uh, across the like stalls. It was in the morning. You can go upstairs. Oh, the showers were upstairs. So I was like, okay, I'm, there was a really hot guard. And he was like, on. Oh, I was like, okay, I can jack off to the hot guard right now. So I'm up in the shower, and I'm like jacking off. And I noticed like across the way, like the, the um, handicap stall was open or the bigger stall was open. And so there was a lot of movement. And I was like, so I opened my curtain a little bit, and there's this boy on the toilet just, like, jacking off and looking right at me. And I had just been washing my hair, and, like, had, I had soap all over my face. Like, I looked like Santa Claus, probably. I looked insane. But we just, like, locked eye contact and jacked off, and he was like, he's like, I'm going to come. And I was like, I'm going to come, too. And he just came everywhere. And then we get done, wipe down, and then every day after that, he asked me for a bag of chips. Like, I owed him money or something. Every day? Every day. He was like, hey. Honey, you're addicted to chips. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> that's me in jail. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that hey, literally. Can I, can I get some Doritos? That, that's the currency. It's, it, Remember when we drank out together and you might, I need my sweet. Literally, I was, like, I was like, I don't owe you no chips. Like, we jacked off together. Like, uh uh-uh. Oh, my God. Yeah. So that was it, though? No touch? No touch. No nothing. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Was just, there, I'm, in, is I'm it, like in jail and you're like, no one in here wants no to one, fuck me. No one's looking at me. No one's touching me. <laughs> was it. Is it just not on the table? Is it not a lot of places to do it? If you, if your cellmate and you like wanted to, you could absolutely fuck. You could totally fuck if your cellmate wanted to, because um, you're in there, you're locked away. There's no one watching. Like absolutely. Um, other than that, I'm like, did you want to? <laughs> <or>? <laughs> yeah. hey. You just you're like coming, and the guy's just making eye contact with you. You owe me a bag of chips. Yeah. <laughs> I, I walk in, I go, I'm Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your dorm. I'm your dorm. <laughs> uh, dormies. Dorm. Oh my god, horrible. Um, it, other than that, I don't really know where you'd have sex. You could potentially go in the showers together quickly, but it would be pretty obvious in the other place besides your cell. Okay. Yeah. How was the food? You know what? Not bad. Love it. it really? really it Did really... you like work out a bunch? Um, there were people that were working out a lot. I worked out some. Um, you don't have weights, so like you just have to use like it's like what are the CrossFit or whatever you just use your own yeah. weight. But yeah, they, yeah. They, they, dude. The creativity of these people that have been in jail for a long time. I mean, they can make anything out of anything. The food, so foods are called trays. I would love a 3D printer. Oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, food, they're called, it's called trays. So you get like one tray, but then you can trade like trays for like other things if you want. Some people get like six trays. They'll stack them up. And the food is bland, but not bad. And it has all four. All Sorry. So they have six trays and they get to have six trays worth of food for what for, that? For one, for one. <laughs> they for sit down one. and go, who wants things? Yeah. The other, some people don't want to eat or whatever. They trade it for other things. So like. Then someone will eat all six trays and, like, yeah, you eat them up. Because people want to gain weight in jail for yeah. a lot of reason. Um, one thing I did get from jail after I got out, I was like, man, I want fruit. And I, I like fruit with every meal. And I was like, oh, my gosh, in jail, for every meal you have, it's well balanced. Like, there's fruit with every meal. And I was like, oh, that's something I took back from jail. I'm like, I have fruit with every meal. <laughs> it's great to hear that the Texas the Texas jail it's, system is so good to gay people. It's a, Yeah, it's su- surprising how... I was not bashed like that. I feel like it was okay. Do you have? Do you? Do you? Do people tell you like, no, you're wrong a lot? Because the narrative is counter what you're saying. Um, no, nobody tells me I'm wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nobody no, ever actually tells me everyone I'm wrong. agrees. <laughs> um, I think a lot of people haven't had the same experience that I have either. When you go to jail, well, I don't not know. Everyone like, gets to join the Aryan Brotherhood. Well, <laughs> I don't know, honestly, did, I don't they, know did like any perks? People. Any perks from that? Any perks? Um, they gave me some drawings. Um, they, they draw a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it's, you, it's you and Drag with all Nazi hey, symbols. Hey, I'm with a Nazi symbol. symbol. <laughs> it's all swastika. That does not exist. Like, I do not support <laughs> that image of me. Oh my god, these these drawings are fierce. Hey, I drew if you and Hitler had a baby. Yeah, yeah. Hot, <laughs> um, but no. Any other take back from that is I get. I mean, sometimes we still contact each other, like my old jail friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, I don't really need to like be hanging out with them because they're. You y- know, y'all want right. to come to the show? Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. It's. Uh, I think you know. It's. Oh my god. Oh my god. I completely forgot about this. That boy that I jacked off with, I was at the um, <laughs> the uh, Jack in the Box over by um, where the old bathhouse used to be. I love it. The Jack in the Box. The Jack in the Box, and I walk up to the counter to order my food, and he was the register. He was had the register, <laughs> and I was like. So you guys made eye contact. We again. made eye contact again. Um, his manager was there, so he I didn't I didn't mention anything, but I was just like, I think we both had a knowing look in our eyes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, hey. Oh. Now, now I'm getting the bag of chips this time, bitch. Yeah. I would like two tacos too. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. amazing. It was crazy. Yeah. It was. I completely forgot about that. I was on the phone with Lady Rock. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I think I just saw the guy jacked off in the jail. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, was, was he hot? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you know, it's crazy. I I noticed him the day before because. Uh, there's like a basketball rec yard, you know, and he was like really good at basketball. And I was like sitting in the corner because I was not going to play basketball, <laughs> but I was like sitting in the shade just watching the basketball boys. And I was like, oh, he's hot. And then the next day I was checking off with him, manifested it. Well, I don't well, think 100%. I could have finished with him 
on the toilet. Oh, okay. That was strange. It was strange. I was like, is he taking a shit right now? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, Baby. I'm giving myself a blumpkin. <laughs> hey, I'm right. Yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy is that I, I hate to bring up shit on the podcast. Oh, go for I it. But I think, and this isn't my experience, but I think, it's, but like sometimes I think, I think straight men when they're shitting, they get horny. Okay. Because they're not I've used had... to any ass play, so then when the shit hits a right. I've had many a bottom up. friend tell me that, like, I've had many a bottom friend tell me no, that. No, what like, are you? What? Well, he's not oh, yeah. saying nothing. Is that true? <laughs> oh, yeah, I right. Not, yeah, oh, yeah. Not, so oh, I was looking at pictures oh, of Tom Brady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing yeah. on this podcast? Uh-huh. That's crazy. <laughs> um, no, I'm not, I can't repeat it because then it would be crazy. But um, I think that it's true. I think I have bottom friends that say, like, my one friend in particular, he's always like, man, I took a big shit, got a big old boner. And I'm like, whoa. Well, then, because you see a lot of guys it's sending pics on Grinder of, like, them hard on the toilet. And I'm always like, that's not going to do it for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never noticed that. I I get them. It, yeah, I I'm very much like you. Better not be in the wrong place when you send me a hot picture. Right, right. No, like, not on I'm, the toilet. I'm the very picture. much a background person. Yeah. Yeah, wow. you better. I, I want some made like in my pictures. I've seen <laughs> somebody. I, was, I actually sleep like prison. I I I I sleep with my made bed, and then I sleep with like a blanket over that I like unfold. Oh. But I sleep like prison. I do. Or like the military. When I say I sleep like prison, I'm going off of Orange is the New Black where they're like, don't make, don't fuck up the bed, just sleep on top. Right, right, right. I don't right, know right, if that's right, what they right, actually right. do. No, no, that's not what they do. But your bed is like, cleanliness is a very big deal in jail for yeah. sure because it's basically all you have. The only control that you have is like your space, you know? Right. So it's not required. It's not required. No, there are some messy people, mm-hmm. but those people also kind of get fucked with. Like, it's just like you're gross. Like, if you're not taking care of your own shit and yourself, you know, that's what you get fucked with. Like, yeah. as of September 1st, like, I won't be able to, like, get off. I won't What's be able September to. What's September 1st? September 1st, um, all, like, the drag ban effects laws go into effect. Oh, fuck. I didn't that, know about that. I didn't oh. know about that either. Okay, yeah. There's um two, like, laws that got passed. I, I'm so bad. I should know about this more. It's SB, like, say, Senate Bill something, something that got passed. It basically says um, you uh, one gender cannot, like, dress as another gender in public. And also, like, there's no, like, in, where minors could possibly be, there's, like... What is this, the fucking 50s? Right, what right, the, right. This, that right. is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I literally... It's stonewall fucking, like, checking to, checking three articles of clothing bullshit. It, it's, it's insane. It's the, literally insane. And, like, really... I mean, there's they're still fighting it, but it has been passed. Like, it will... Have they, the city of Austin said, like, we will not be... They have not specifically said that. I think that's what's going to happen is that they just won't enforce it. Right. But, yeah, um, they should make a public statement but saying like, that. But, like, at the same time, like, I know this is fucked up to say, but, like, the police... The police's job should be to uphold the laws. The laws should change, and and the police's job should not be to uphold laws that they you know do right. or don't agree with. Um, I think that they do choose sometimes to um, enforce things that aren't the law. You know, so I think that their job should be these are the laws do it. But um, I think Austin will be more there. I hope, but also there could be that one time where they're like some cops like I don't feel like being you know and just yeah, yeah, yeah. arrest. Like basically, my problem is in the space. I'm fine. I can perform in in a private yeah. space wherever, but. On my scooter, like, or on my Vespa on the way here, uh, that's a public space. I could get arrested. Totally. What? Totally, totally. Yeah. Does this apply to trans people? It, abs- it uh, absolutely applies to trans people. It more is about the trans people. It's about yeah. it's about discriminating them. It's not really about drag queens. It's about transphobia and like that's trying so to like. Scary. It's fucked up. It's beyond scary. It's um something that's very real and happening. So do I want to live in Texas forever? Not when things like that are happening. Like, yeah. I really don't. I mean. I don't own a car either because I think that the police, like, once you have a car, you're in a car, you're a liability. If something, if you get pulled over, they can literally do whatever they want to you. I've been arrested many times when I'm in a car for, like, n- for no reason. And then those things are then on my record. I had to go get, like, I had to go get a manufacturing delivery charge, um, erase off my record. When they just arrested me for, and just said that, there was nothing, there's nothing they ever found. But they arrested me for it. I spent two days in jail. What was the charge? Ma- manufacturing delivery of a controlled substance. Which is an insane charge, right? They found nothing in the car. I was in jail for two days. Released. No no charges filed. But that arrest is still on my record. <laughs> so I had to go crazy. get expunged. I had to go get expunged, which I did, but it took time, money, and like not everyone has those resources. Right. It's really fucked up. I just watched uh, a documentary about like pre-Nazi Berlin. Huh? Like Berlin in the 20s was this like safe haven of like all sorts of cool shit. And then they just started little by little, just fucking it one by one. It, it literally constantly happens throughout history where it's like, uh, uh, it's like super liberal utopia. Everything's like super cool. And then like super, rub- it's like. It's a swing of the pendulum. Like it's always yeah. is. Like everything. We everything are definitely like swinging right, right Oh, now. hugely, hugely. Like, and it's It's, it's crazy. The country. Yeah. And so, I mean, I really, my, my inside, I really, I went to the Czech Republic like two and a half years ago. Scary. That's really like, I loved it. No. Wait, is that Russia? No. It's the Czech Republic. Czechoslovakia, ever heard of it? No. 
it's a country. It's Eastern Europe, but not not Russia. Okay, so um, right by Germany. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's right by like Austria too. It's like beautiful. Um, my family like that's where my like lineage is from. Like I'm a Czech American Indian, so I was like, I'm gonna go to Prague. I went by myself for like two weeks. It was an amazing experience. Absolutely. Um, they, it's still interesting. Like yes, they have the internet. Yes, they have like you know access to everything, but the they still don't. Their mindset is they don't have like all the opportunities that we have. You know, um, so. Which is I, crazy to me. It's cr- it's crazy. It's, they it's have crazy and sad, but like, maybe even more opportunities because they're not distracted by all the cool shit we have. R- right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right? totally. Right? I just think I think that they they're it's weird. Their mindset is just not the same as ours. Like in America, we're taught like you can be anything, do anything, blah blah. They're just not taught that. They're they're like your your family's a farmer. You need to be a farmer for your family. Like, all these sort of things. Mm-hmm. So I. I, c- I would really love to move to the Czech Republic. I think it'd be really, really cool. Absolutely. I think it'd be really cool. I think that I could be a wildly successful drag queen there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think that it would just be an interesting experience and it wouldn't be scary in America. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, that's on the back burner for sure. If it gets any worse than it is now, that will happen. Yeah, I'm going to Berlin and Barcelona this September. I went to Barcelona too. Barcelona's beautiful. Love it. What's yeah. scary about Texas about like things getting really bad here is that it feels like it's hard to get out. Listen, that, shit, get your if, passport if, now. If you don't have a passport, you better have one. Get one now. Like seriously. <laughs> Like you need, you really need. Honey, to get I don't one. even have my real ID. No, you need. No, you need. Oh yeah, yeah. Get, get that real ID. Yeah, right with the, with the little star on it. Yeah. No, even like just like I just yeah. I'm like if things got locked down there, like you can't cross state lines Fuck or something. That. Like That's I terrifying. feel like Texas is like I'm from Massachusetts. It's like nothing. You know, we keep it. You know, everyone doesn't give a fuck what you do up there. Right, you know right. what I mean? But We're also very far from any border here, so we had a long way to go. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's a long drive to get out of Texas. That, I mean, that's a terrifying thought of that happening. That's, and it could, totally could happen. I always think of, like, The Handmaid's Tale. Of, uh-huh. Like, when she, they're at the border with, like, Alexa Vidal, and she's, like, trying to get into Canada, and they're like, well, she's like, I can't. She, like, couldn't get through, and they're like, okay, well, you two go, and I'll meet you there. And it's like, ooh. Handmade. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, fucking it's, scary. It I, over although I feel do like, you wanna, okay, we're in that situation. We have to go to Texas. I, of course, have a passport. Yeah. Chip has a passport. Yeah. Do you want to come with us? Can't. You can't. Or you, you, much more ideal situation. This hot guy comes up to you and is like, "Hey, I have. Uh, like, let's go to my flat in the UK. I'm gonna fly us there a week vacation. No problem." You, do you have to say, "No, I can't go." That's what you have to say. I can't go. Fuck that shit. Get your passport so you can no. go with that bitch. Honey, I can't he is. Take me to Waterburger. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, though. You never well, know. I love the UK, honey. Okay. You never know. You never know. <laughs> he he says over and over again, "I'm never going to Europe." He says, that. "I will go to Europe." I just, it's just, <laughs> is it a it's fear? Just, I think it's funny. No, because we're on the podcast, so I'm playing up a character. Okay, but yeah. Like, my character is very much like America first, and and uh, and I hate Europe. You know what I mean? And Heard. also, okay, got and it. And also, yeah, yeah. part of my hatred towards <laughs> Europe is because I'm waiting at a table that is attached to a hotel where a lot of Europeans come in and sit around all day long and be and annoying. Okay. And so French people to me are dead to me. Heard. And, and that's just who I am right now. Yeah, yeah. But I'm go and, but if a French person came in here and said, I need help, I'd say, do you need some water? You know what I mean? Like, I, I have... <laughs> You're yeah, going to offer you, the water? Here's some water and I get the fuck out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need help. Water? <laughs> water. <laughs> well, you yeah. obviously are dehydrated. Can I tell you something? Please. Okay. I was debating bringing this on the podcast. I was at the gas station the other night, and a homeless – I didn't see this. A homeless man had broken a, a man's uh, window, and – I found out because the man was an aggressive 6'4 white man who had taken his shirt off and was then fighting the homeless man. Were you jacking off? And they were fist fighting and everyone was screaming, call the police, call the police. And I literally grabbed my chips and ran. (laughs) And does that make me a bad person? No. I think it. If you were the only (laughs) other person there, please, Dylan, call the police. And you were like, like, no. <laughs> there, there was like a physical emergency and someone needed help, when maybe. I, but they were fighting, like whatever. You don't need to call the police. Yeah, he, he was like, I'm going to kill you. You know, and it Did was any, really racial, s- any Mark Wahlberg racial slurs thrown out? No, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the N word was being thrown See, out. Mm, I mean, those people wait, are just wait, very wait. angry and it's scary. But I think by the homeless person who was black. But I couldn't tell because I was running. <laughs> And I didn't know them. You're not even a good like. This isn't even a good like police report. (laughs) No. (laughs) My goal in life is to not talk to the police and never go to court. Mm -hmm. Like I know that's just I don't want to. I'm like very much like a. I'm gonna head out here. I get scared. I'm a. Uh, you're, you're I'm, on, I'm on the phone. Hello, I'm white. (laughs) (laughs) Hello, I'm white, and I'm here to help. Oh God. From my voice, I go, yeah, no, uh, health emergencies, and probably. Also, I will say if bad things did happen to the point, do you think, because I can't, I, I don't know what you look like outside of drag, do you think you'd be passable to kind of get through the Texas lines? 
as like a normal person, boy. boy. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, I, I can look like a dude. I think problem. we all could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all could. We could. Yeah, I, just, I could throw it up in a heartbeat. Yeah. Sub bro just headed to Utah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Colton's done. Colton's done. I already, yeah, probably yeah, already. Yeah, 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 Meanwhile, they're like, is that Grey's Anatomy tattoos? Right, on excuse you? me. Sorry, like, tattoos I'm, speak I'm differently sorry. if you're a factory. Yeah. I'm sorry, it was a Red Bull can the whole yeah. time. The whole, yeah, they're like, yeah, boy. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I think that I could. I mean, listen, if that happens, I've I've thought about this a lot. Like with you. In that moment of panic, you have a couple choices. Like, do you go with your friends? Do you go with your family? Like, you need to make that decision quickly, you yeah. know, because, like, what do you do? And, like, my family's, like, two hours away, and, like, I, they're probably not going to, you know, make it or care. You know, they'll stick around. So it's like, okay, friends. So I, you need to have a plan. You need to have a plan with your friends, at least to think about it. Or do you yeah. go rogue and go solo and just because you can't trust anybody? I don't know, but you need to, like, think about that. My, if I call my family, they probably would be like, you guys are freaking out. The Democrats are trying to right. screw they you Right, they would think it was a big deal. And yeah. I'm going to be yeah. like, all right, Dylan, we're out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'd yeah. go. I'd go. Cool. I actually kind of, to be honest, like, I'm not going to stay in Texas. No, you don't want to? No. No. Y'all don't want to? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's smart to not. It's I mean, not even just that, those reasons, although it's like. The thing is, like, there's always going to be these laws, and there's always going to be queer people underneath them. Like, totally. it's like that's it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, this shit's always going to happen. But uh, honestly, it's the just heat. not for me. It's just, it's just not for me. It's just not for you. There's it's, many factors, but yeah. the heat is. Listen, uh, it is hot. I just went to um, Boston and I went back home. I'm from Massachusetts, and I was looking at the bill. And like, it's sad when you're romanticizing Boston. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. I've been here for two years, and I'm looking at Boston, being like. <laughs> this place is char- incredibly charming. I'm like, all right, I need a place that has like crown molding, and like everything in Austin right now is made out of plastic and is millennial gray. I can't do it anymore. Herb. Yeah, yeah. Aesthetically, what and made you move here hard. in the first place? Uh, I need to get sober. Okay. And uh, Austin's the place to do that. Well, I was living in Portland, Oregon, where it was oh, literally yeah, like yeah. darkness, uh-huh. and I lived there for four years, and I, I just like was like. I need to be blasted by the sun. Yeah. And I didn't know anybody here, and I knew that the comedy was going to start doing well here. So I was like, just go there, and I just Make came here. Cool. Have, you know, helped kind of build a house. I stopped doing comedy for three months, and... You helped build a house? Yeah. What does that mean? I helped refinish a house. How? My The guy I moved in with. No, no, what skills do you have? He taught me all of them. So I painted this entire house. I did all of the electrical like f- switches to take them out, put them back in, Ew. paint like literally every s- – it was a huge house, five-bedroom house. Um, I dug up the entire backyard so that we could redo it. So it was like I all of the grass had to come up from the backyard. And we had to put down like, you know, whatever that Texas gross shit is that you put down for like <laughs> wood chips but, or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. And like Manure. that, flooring. um, all this shit and it, yeah, and I he paid me like twenty bucks an hour. And was this like when you first moved here? Mm, right, it was the guy I moved in with. He had a house, and he just bought another house, and he was also gay, but like gay with like parents who like taught him skills. Oh, cool, yeah, and that's, yeah. that's sweet. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Nice. Like, not, I was like, oh, you have a good relationship with your dad. He was cool, like, yeah. yeah. I was like, okay, oh, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. And so yeah, I did that for like three months. I I also don't have skills, but I go, but I know my dad doesn't have any skills either. My dad does have skills. Yeah, my dad has skills. He's too. a roofer. Yeah, my dad gives a really great blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. <laughs> so do I. Yeah. Sam. Yeah. yeah, I wonder if my dad does. Have you started getting compliments on your blowjobs? Oh, yeah, have you been working on? Do you get bad blowjobs? Well, because well, that's when we met. We were like, no one's ever. We don't know if we're good or not. Because no so, one's ever said like, "Wow, you're very good." You know, I think my blowjob skills have dwindled. Like I used to be as a child. I gave. I I, I started like having sex when I was twelve. Like on my own accord, I was a very horny kid. I with I, with men. Yeah. Good Which is you. gross to think about, but at that point in time, like, wait, how old were the men? I mean, upwards of like inappropriate ages, for sure, for sure, like forties, forties, a twelve-year-old in forties. I mean, do you feel affected by that? Not that you have to. I sought it. I sought it out. So I mean, I don't know. Looking back, were they pedophiles? Absolutely. But like, yeah. I think that it was. A different it was a different time which is no excuse they shouldn't have been praying but i was also in a like, gay.com chat room like yeah. pretending to be i never told them i was 12 right. you know and like it wasn't like it wasn't like 12 and like getting pounded out all the time but like from 12 to 18 i definitely lied about my age and like met up with people many many times and like did things but it was also a small central texas town they, right. there were no options like these guys yeah. were eating like how i was literally, i was a hound like i would not i was relentless with right. these people and so like what are they going to do you know at the end of the day i mean probably shouldn't have done it but like <laughs> yeah. i mean yeah yeah they they they, they should have they should have been like they should have been like no <laughs> 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 so like I didn't want to 
<laughs> fuck the 12 year old. He won't <laughs> leave me alone. What am I going to do? Horrible. Oh, what my God. <laughs> yeah. that is, I was, how, I, what else was he going to do? I had to. <laughs> I mean, I, what else are you going to do? What else are you going to do with a hot 12 year old? Yeah, I don't know. But. A hot 12 year old? I love that. Yeah. Oh, my God. But I used to get complimented on my blowjobs a lot. But lately, I've been like, as I'm doing it, I find myself being like, this is very good. Like, I don't know if I'm doing a good job right now. Like, yeah. 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 Well, sometimes you just don't have chemistry with the person. I don't. Does, I don't, a, does a blowjob need chemistry? No. No. Uh, I guess not. But I, I mean, have my. I have gone into the last year, I've almost went to blowjob, like, Sports camp, you know, like, like, like you really boot put camp. yourself through it. I yeah. really put myself through it to the point where, like, the last couple, like, a lot of the last guys I've, you know, I, uh, I got a studio apartment because things have really been racking up. Nice. <laughs> and, and yeah, every single one was like, the last guy I, I talked to his deck, he was like, You uh, weren't joking. I was like, Yeah, well, I got kind of a move. And What's the move? What's the move? Put the whole thing in. And then you stick your tongue out and you lick the balls. Yes, dude. Yeah. Actually, that is that does they get go a lot nuts of people. For it. They go, they really whoa, do. Whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing <laughs> down the mouth like, is good, and then the tongue. Oh, oh yeah. Like, you have never like you feel pride. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's yeah. just, like, you like you're putting full, in hard work. Full mouth, like almost gagging, just like I know I'm yeah. the best. At I'm this. the best. I'm doing it good. I'll also say like I'm not when I'm giving blowjobs. I'm there's I'm not. There's no performance a- aspect of it whatsoever. Are you not putting it on? I'm not like I'm not doing the eyes. I'm doing a full on. Like, You're I'm clocked like, in work, honey. I'm I am like an Asian woman giving you a massage. Like it's like this means nothing to me, but I'm talented. Well, like, we ran out of we, space on the card. That's yeah. So, so, so no. now we have to end early. early. Oh. We've been an incredible guest. Thank you so Thank much you. for doing Thank that. Thank you so much for having me. It's been so nice and yeah. fun. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Follow we Cupcake. Do have, you, uh, where are you online? Uh, on uh, line Instagram, uh, Cupcake ATX, Facebook, Cupcake ATX. Uh, um, what Come else to shows. Come to shows. I have shows every Tuesday, every Thursday. What can hear you? And also uh, Barbarella. One dive, yeah. All of these look incredible close. Thank you. <laughs> Follow me at Dylan H- P. Carlino. Colton Dowling on all the things. We love and, you. Um, you know, write a fucking review. Sorry. Write a review. Wait, Jesus. No, no, it's not. It's not your fault. It is. It is. It's not your fault. It is. Bye. So, uh, this is bad. 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 Yeah. to drag out horse. No.